Yo, 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 it's your boy, Triple Skills, way out back, playing Red Dead Redemption. Um, we are going to be starting off with the Marshal's mission, or the Sheriff, whatever you want to call him. And from here on, we're going to see if there's any more missions for him, we'll probably do the Sheriff mission. If not, we'll just head straight back to the farm. But last time out, we started Hello. this game off. Hello, it's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello, it's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun, what's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly the world is full of days. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Bollard twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Favor for a favor. Who's going to win the championship for? The I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise... I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Whoa. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash. Came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Everybody dismount and follow me. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Look out! Rustler guards! Gun them down! Go right. <coughs> oh my good God. Come on, 
Come on then, Marston. Just make sure you don't slow me down. Johnson sucked. Yep. Sat like half an hour ago. Shoot you as soon as I finish part Look, one. Over there. My God. Look, the deputies are making progress. Watch out! More of the bastards! For a side, were you? Yeah. Am I correct on that? I think it was, yeah. Uh, I remember. It looks like bounty hunting, doesn't it? I didn't hear that part. Right. Fire wheel, boy! Try to keep them cats off of your side! Come on! Let's get these sons of bitches! You want more? This way! I'm fixing to kill you, man! Oh, you're rushing the days are over. You got him good. Are you kidding? What the hell are you doing? I think you shallow without a reading, boy. Marston, all you gotta do is point it and pull the trigger. I 
There we go. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. To Bonnie, yeah, she's close. Come on. You're a living legend, though. I forgot all that stamina, great. I just realised then, wh whereabouts is Marston's farm? Shit. Whereabouts would that be? It'd be down of... Canyons up here, it'll be down of... over somewhere over here, right? Oh shit, I just have no clue. It's just so run down, isn't it? Wait for it. Then. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stay close to Charlie. I'll keep it on the dog.
Who would have guessed what there's someone here? Failed. Great. I'll try this one more time, and if not, I'm just going to go to the what, to the other missile. There we go, fucking hell, man, women and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks. Trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. 
She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, I said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. I mean, well, I guess fair play, poor not. What, what you're hiding? Fair play to him. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Chickens of, uh... The horse just don't fucking stay Get still. Them the herd. That should start them moving in the right direction. Assuming they aren't put off by your smell. He's got it. Stay behind us, Mr. Boston. Uh. Nice job, Mr. Marston. Drive them down the road, Mr. Marston. Key up. Good job. I see. Yeah. Easy. Don't lose control of the herd. Come on. Go All get right. more. Let's move this large herd out to the far pasture. Swing back and forth behind them. Keep them nice and tight. Go. Doing great, Mr. Moore. Slow down. Stay with them. Keep that herd together now. Brilliant, easy. I don't mind missiles like that. You're not actually. bad with the herd. Ranching Decent. might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Oh. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Let's go. Come on. 
Let's go. Mate, you got to score that. What a header that is. Literally 15 seconds after we miss a sitter, we'll score a great header. Straight. Woo. Right, you ready to see? Right, you, if you want to hear some football stats about football manager, my Sheffield Wednesday team has had 30 shots, 19 on target to, sh to Stokes, one shot and zero on target, yeah? And we've only scored two goals. It's poor. But it's some bad finishing from us. on John Joe Shelby. Come on son. Come on. That'll go three now. Another header. Come on. And my first season championship with Wednesday. I'm doing good. Top of the league currently after like five games. Oh nail, come on. There we go. The stage coach is here. Excuse me. As you like it. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? To Armadillo! Godspeed! For the love of God, stick to the road! What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Bollard Twins, Walton's gang. I know who you are. Word sure travels fast around here. I'm a man with many connections. Spare my life, I beg of you.
closest doctor is in Armadillo! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! Scoundrels! Robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit if this happens. My God! They'd come back and finish me off! This is be close. Yes, I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. Thank We're nearly you there. Me, you're all... We're here. Who's that? Stay with me. Oh, oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Being a... not... not so useless... prick. Can find the Bill Williamson for me. There we go. <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. Gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. I I'll call it cooking. Hey, wait up! Where is he? He's nervous. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. 
but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed Funko artist I've never met. Look, vultures. Might just be a dead critter. Parsons, take a look. Eli, you too. This don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Come on. Let's stay on this road. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the words out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Poor vultures! This don't look so good! All right, let's go check it out. Whoa there! Let's go! Are you really there? Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Whereabouts is that? Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. The place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Shed's clear, Marshal. No one here. Come on. board up a barn like this. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Oh my days. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> All right, boys. We need Holy to get into that house shit. right now. No, no. Why well, can't I remember that mission? Um. Oh well. Best mission in this game, uh, where you meet. I think, I think it was at a bank. Good mission. Ain't you a pretty little thing? I'm 
gonna enjoy this! There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Oh, thank God! You're gonna leave this in a box! Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Hellfire! of that bunch gets $50. It ain't All right, about cool. the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. Man up, boy. We gotta get after those bandits. I'll take $50 to kill him. Yeah. That's the easy amount of money to get to kill a bandit leader. Come on. I have to fall and shit. Williamson's men! Maybe! All this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal! This might be our chance! What's your need for Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. That's how you treat your family. I'd hate to see what you do with your enemies. Let's go! Eyes up! You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! There's one of them. 
up! Hold it firm, boys! You kill me and can't... Look out! Here comes some more of them bastards! Sick, oh, what a kick. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Let's move for now. Peace out. For now. Be back.